In the ritual for the ordination of Catholic deacons, after the sacrament of orders is administered by the bishop to the newly ordained deacons, the bishop encourages them with these words. Never allow yourselves to be turned away from the hope offered by the gospel. Now you are not only hearers of this gospel, but also its ministers. Holding the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, express by your actions the words of God which your lips proclaim. Then on the last day, when you go out to meet the Lord, you will be able to hear him say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Today the Church commemorates one of its earliest deacon martyrs, St. Lawrence. And today's readings remind us of how he and we express in our actions the words of the gospel which we proclaim. We don't know much about St. Lawrence except that he lived in the 3rd century in Rome during a time of persecution of the Church there. We know he had a reputation for being a joyful and kind person. And we also know that he was a staunch defender, not only of the faith of the church, but of the whole people of God. When the prefect of Rome demanded he turn over the treasures of the church, he famously gathered the poor of the city and brought them to the prefect, proclaiming, Behold, in these poor persons, the treasures which I promised to show you, which are the church's own. It was that act of political and religious defiance that earned Lawrence a painful martyr's death. He is thus remembered also for his courage. Lawrence strikes me as the type of person St. Paul talked about in the first reading, someone who scatters the seed of his faith in the gospel flagrantly, like in Jesus' own parable about the sower. And Lawrence was rewarded with a harvest beyond his imagining not only witnessing to the people of God in his time, but in ours as well, reaping a beautiful harvest and reminding us, especially in these times when those who are poor are not treasured and not respected. We especially remember the migrants in our communities these days. We as a church have a task of lifting up and defending the poor. Indeed, basing our social and political and economic decisions first and foremost on how they will impact the poor and those on the margins of society is at the heart of our Catholic teaching. And the Gospel of today also reminds us that being willing to give up all that we have, even our lives, in service to Christ and to His Church is a call that every Christian must respond to. We may not have to spill our blood, as St. Lawrence did, though some in our world today certainly have. I often think of St. Oscar Romero or Dr. Martin Luther King. But in our own lives, it is good to think about how we spend the time that we have. Do we consider how the seed of faith in our lives can be a source of new life for others and orient our relationships and our time to that end? So on this day, as we reflect on those considerations, let us pray for the insight to see how we are witnesses to God's word through speech and action. And let us also pray for all those in ministry in our church, especially our deacons. God give you peace.